This is the English English Podcast. He's Eric. He's Brett. Let's get it started. All right, I do have to say, though, according to uh, Florida is an all-party consent state, so we have to ask the peanut gallery here if they're okay with us oh. recording. <laughs> are, we, are you okay with us recording? <laughs> all right, thumbs we get the up. thumbs up from everyone. Nonverbal consent. That's right, all you exactly. Need. That's all you need. That's all you need. Nonverbal consent. Their We're not in California yes. yet. yet. <laughs> <laughs> we need affirmative ongoing consent, consent. from you all. <laughs> right. <laughs> Sign here and here, please. All right, show me with your body how you consent. Show me where I'm allowed to <laughs> to, to record. Podcast. Yeah, to podcast. <laughs> Give me your syllables. <laughs> your syllables. All right, so I have one topic. That's all I can manage to find. You came unprepared. No, sir. I came prepared, just, just tepidly prepared. Tepidly prepared. That's my point. It was a uh, Skynet yes. taking over. Okay. Uh, Roomba in South Korea started eating this woman's hair while she slept. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. Just started vacuuming. Her. Yeah, like was she sleeping on the floor. How did yeah, it, oh, it okay. was like to, so. It did nothing really happened other than it did its normal thing. Right. Yeah. Driving that's, around. Vacuuming. That's hardly. She was presumably level. based on my uh, stereotypical knowledge of South Koreans, just ragingly drunk, passed out on the floor. Or that could just be where they sleep. There might not that's be true. any room yeah. in the, a small South Korean apartment right. other than like a floor mat. The white man hasn't shown them how to sleep yet. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's more that their fellow men just leave no room for which to... Oh, is that what it is? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. However... <laughs> it's a white man's burden. Right, yeah. Pass exactly. Like real pass posturpedic mattresses all around the world. <laughs> right, yes. <laughs> clearly. Sleep number beds. Clearly our, our mission from God. Right. No, just from Rudyard Kipling. That's why we got to spread... Yeah, from Rudyard Kipling. That's why we got to spread our freedom. <laughs> right, freedom. Our bed freedom. <laughs> freedom from robot oppression. <laughs> right. That was The robot was a terrorist. Yeah, the robot was a terrorist. <laughs> Anything aggressive now is terrorism. Right, terrorism. It's terrorism. What else All we right. got? Ah, the one topic, uh, it's a holdover for last time. Actually, this is, okay. like as in most cases, post-podcast or pre-podcast, something came up. Yeah. And we had to write it down to remember it. But remember I was telling you about that interesting uh, case of like Facebook freebooting, as they call it? Yeah, and I was noticing that now more often now that you talked about it. Yeah. I was like, holy shit, this is it. I'm very, seeing it right now. Very interesting as someone who's trying to produce... Internet content of any kind. It does, yeah. We is do, now yeah. currently, yeah. Um, and it's, it's, inter- it's important it, so. for uh, listeners and such to know, anyone who likes getting free content on the internet has to try to help avoid this problem so that the creators right. still make enough money to keep making free content. Because this isn't one of those things that like someone has to go out of the way to do. Like You don't have to click on the ads or you don't have to buy shit, but just doing things in a way that the people actually are able to right. use and basically and do it for... Because if, if this keeps happening, you're going to have to find other ways to make money and right. cross charge basically what, you, what the problem is, is, is um, there's a one guy's YouTube channel the makes smarter very every day smarter one. every day yeah. makes very fun videos about like scientific principles and like basically he's got a very high speed slow mo camera so it's like yeah. look at how cool this is cool like science experiment type right. gimmicky yeah. stuff like and so he brought this up though because he was a very famous example of this happening to somebody he made a video slow mo of I think um, tattoo being done to show yeah. what exactly is happening to the skin. With a tattoo machine. It's very, like, you know, showing that, like, actually it's the tattoo machine. showing full machine, penetration, basically. Full penetration, yeah. <laughs> it's very racy for his family-friendly right, yeah, exactly. channel. Um, but no, what, what was interesting about it, though, is somebody linked it on Facebook, right? And, like, normally when people link on Facebook, it's mostly okay because it links back well, to the content Well, they're just directly creator. from the Right, YouTube. and it still gets viewed on YouTube. And it's still well, no, showing... if you follow a link, if you watch it on Facebook, not necessarily. That's part not of the Not necessarily, problem. but it used to be the way that you would post right. a video and the player would still be the YouTube player, so it would still show the still YouTube generate ads, ad revenue and for like the creator. the view would count on YouTube, the click to the ad would count through right. AdSense. So the... So any revenue made would go to the creator just of like the it content. Would if you're just like you watching on YouTube. Yeah, just like you're watching YouTube. But now it doesn't necessarily do that. Now it like strips and embeds it. And also people can do that specifically. And this was a case of a lot of times you think you're viewing the video on its source. Right. But you're viewing it in a mirrored copy of it. Like, like Uproxx steals it or something right, like exactly. that. Exactly. Like, and in this case it was some big media corporation that owned a lot of affiliate websites kind of like, like BuzzFeed or, or Uproxx. Like it yeah, wasn't or those or, um, ones specifically that I know of in this case. But they took it. They got three times as many views on their Facebook linked one as he got in his original video. Like, right. and we're talking like three million or something right. like that, which could be which tens did, of thousands. Which could of dollars. Pay, he he said he didn't want to say how much money it was. Well, you're not allowed he, to based on Google. Right. You're not allowed to say exactly on the ad revenue agreements. But basically, he said I could have put one of my kids through college if I had made money off of three million views. Right. Like, I, like it paid for a year of college. Yeah, just it, for anyone who's listening and doesn't know, it's not uncommon. Like the normal range is is it in like 
whole or multiple dollars per thousand views. That you right. Get. So you, so need you a, could get anywhere from like one to ten dollars for a thousand views. So you need many thousands of views to make any money. Right, That's but it point. also shows you when you get them. Like three right. million views is three thousand thousands. So right. Three thousand exactly. so times starting one, to make two, three, money. four, so five, this whatever. Company you could that get did not grand. originate the video, did not create the video, and did not attribute the video, did not link back to its original source. They uploaded it on Facebook. Right. Spread it around through the power of Facebook getting in so many more eyeballs than just randomly happening across this guy's channel on YouTube yeah. because of the way Facebook helps spread viral things. Yeah. And so um, they made money off all these things. He, of course, contacted Facebook, got them to suspend it, but he still yeah. did not get any of that money yeah, they basically back that sold they made off of his product. Right. They so this sold is advertising not, for his material. They, right, exactly. It's not even a knockoff. It's, not, it's even worse well, than Because if like, like, an individual person posted it, he wouldn't get the views, but they wouldn't get anything either. Right, so it's exactly. shitty, but I mean, it's like, shitty, but it's they like they're not doing any. it yeah, to steal money. This it. company exists to make money off of digital advertising, and right. they made money off right. of digital advertising from his product. Or it's like charging someone to come watch a movie right. that you didn't make and that you're not giving them a shit. Right. I mean, it's worse than like knockoff, because like I say, somebody makes a knockoff Nike. They right. make a Nike fake, cheaper than somebody else. Right. Well, this is not like that. This is like somebody stealing those Nikes right. and then selling them, because right. they literally took his content. Yeah, well, it's like it charging and it, admission to a movie that you didn't make or and buy not giving the, them or any buy the money film for it. Yeah. yeah, like you buy the DVD or like even norm- just steal the DVD and then just set up a right. movie theater and start right. charging. Which normally they don't theater. go after people for just like torrenting something because it then doesn't it technically didn't probably cost them anything. Didn't it cost They're not anything. selling it. They probably right. wouldn't have gone bought it or watched it anyway. Right. So all, like those, it, all those type of things. So like minimal not sharing to go down in that, that road, sense, but yeah. Usually helps the people, and that's why he, this can, guy probably but, wouldn't yeah. have gone after if it was just a bunch of different people sharing. Right. Well, that's it and exactly what he put But that's right. what made it fascinating to me is that right. it's not just the first problem is people sharing it don't always link back to the source. Like for right. example, I've seen a lot of people link to funny comics that are shared on Tumblr or Imager because right. they where just they, someone hosts or posts the image right. and no one knows where it's from. They didn't pull it from the original right. comic book site where that guy has ads up or a store to buy T-shirts based on his characters or something. Right. Instead, they copy paste the image, yeah. put it on their personal imager, and then link it on their Facebook. That's why it's important, is, I think, for if you're doing any sort right. of um, you can't really do this with video as much right. because it fucks with it. But on images, you can always put like a watermark or try to do something like that. Well, I'm just saying, if you want to share stuff, just share from right. The but source. as a content creator too, not every Facebook zombie is gonna. Make right. sure they make sure they do the it the right way. So yeah. put something in there at the bottom that says your website on. So at least people will see it, know where it's coming from. Right, but, but anyway, you're not going to get the, the point. I was bringing it up is because it's fascinating, just as the way like a, a an emergent market problem, just like any new kind of market right. generates its own black markets, you know, kind of right. thing. And this is one of those cases. And you wouldn't have thought of it if you hadn't heard of this story. Or right. some stories like I it. can't imagine that that won't end in his favor, but it's still it's still, not going to fix the problem. Well, it's not going to fix the yeah. problem either, and they're not going to be able to do it with the, the small people. Right, and as to fixing the problem, that's said, like one of the things that's most important is just to mention to anyone listening to this or any other podcasts or reading any comics, viewing yeah. any things. Make sure you go back to the source, link to the source, because that's how these people give you stuff for free. That's why they're able to do it in the first place. Right. Otherwise, it's going to go to a model of paywalls everywhere. If, right. if making content for free on the internet becomes non-cost efficient for the creators, then only big companies that can sink that forward cost will do it. Or complete yeah. nobodies who don't care how crappy their stuff is. Or just they don't care about and making, don't care money, about making money. And that sometimes you still it. you do still get good stuff from people who aren't interested in making money. Right, but, but the majority of people can't do You that. want more people making stuff because then you have right. a better chance of getting the awesome stuff out there. Right, exactly. But anyway, that's the little public service announcement. Right. Now we got to go on to... Do our G.I. Joe. G.I. Joe. Our yeah. public service. Right, yeah. Make sure you Knowing credit it's your li- Make yeah. sure you cite proper sources <laughs> and link back. <laughs> and link back. And knowing it's half the battle. Yeah, I do. What else do we have? I thought we had something. We have some other ones. I'm trying to think of uh, trying to find some funny ones though. I know because we don't. Yeah, we, we don't want it all. But unfortunately, it's all. It's all bad. The robot all the news. All, it's, all the news is bad, and all the news is mostly. It's not that the news is bad. It's full of. Stupid people talking about right, it. That's right. what it is. <laughs> but uh, oh, yeah, like Brian. What's his name? Brian Williams lying about everything. I've never understood oh, yeah. that. Like he uh, just. I just heard that recently. Making shit up. Like, what are you about being kind of shot like out in sociopathy. Afghanistan? Yeah, but there was like multiple stories. He was just completely like he wasn't even on the chopper and stuff. Well, it's, it's, like, it's because the news anchors are no longer viewed as not, not that the news is ever one hundred percent accurate, really. but they're not there yeah. as custodians of information. Now right. they are also celebrities. Everybody wants to be celebrity now, so it's got to right. happen to them. It can't be their stories of a chopper shot down. Right. It has to be, 
I was shot at. I stared down the barrel, stared down the barrel of a dip, right? You know, just like Hillary Clinton, like sniper fire, right, yeah, pinging exactly. the runway. You know, like it could be that our brave soldiers were, were, you know, taking sniper fire. It was that I personally saw yeah. sniper fire. But I mean, it shows what's going through their brains. Like these people probably were like, "Oh, you're right. I did lie." Like they probably. Right, like they wouldn't remember that they lied until, until you pointed it out it, to yeah, them. Until you yeah. prove it. And that's who we're paying attention to now. Right, yeah. Not that's only leading our country that, and giving us and That's who we're trusting as the custodians of factual information now. And of our lives. <laughs> right, yeah. And the, politi- and the, the actual politicians. I mean, Very not nice. that all of them are that way, but it, the problem, of course, is systemic when somebody can get away with it for that long. Right. You know? That's why I support Vermin Supreme. He's open about his his uh, desire for totalitarian rule. <laughs> <laughs> Have you seen that guy's video? No, who's There's this? This guy. He's he's like a. Uh, I guess you would call it a performance artist, okay. but he's basically just a comedian who's always running for office okay. under this um, per- persona called Vermin Supreme. Vermin Supreme. Yeah, he's like always ruler like, of the wasteland. Right, right. Yeah, he's sewers. like vote early, vote often, vote Vermin Supreme. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's great. And he always has these random Up from platforms. The underdark. Like, he's gonna give everybody free shoes or something <laughs> right. like that. Like this bizarre shit. Like bizarre communist era promises. Right. Like, like super. You like will have free borscht. Right. You know? We'll control everything, and <laughs> it'll be great. And, uh, yeah, you can watch videos where he's, like, running for mayor. And he actually, because in the small races, he, they have to let him on. Like, right, the, yeah, because you pay the $100 fee right, to get on the ballot. Right, and then you can get on the, um, the, the debates and everything. It's pretty hilarious. <laughs> I've not heard of this. That yeah. does sound hilarious. Uh. So he just exaggerates, like, a uh, totalitarian right. platform. Speaking of news, though, one of the other topics I have here on the list is uh, somebody said uh, one of those things where it's, the logic just made me go, like, uh? Yeah. And it's not terrible, but there was, somebody was talking about unemployment off. and the right. jobs. And they said the one thing, like, guys who are good are never without work, at least not for long. Yeah. And it's like, okay, yeah, that's true, but that doesn't really solve the problem. Like, they look at it and they be like, you know, they talk about unemployment and be like, well, it's just like the case that these people aren't working hard enough right. or whatever. Well, that's partially true. Not everyone like, can be above average. Right, exactly. Not <laughs> everyone can be above average was my exact point that right. I was going to bring up. It's like you still have to do something or have jobs for the uh, you know average person or well, you don't even have to make person. a value statement about it. You, can, you don't even have to say we should or we have to. You just have to realize that if you don't, exactly. what the country is going to be like. You're going to have a bunch of people that have no option but some sort of crime or seppuku. Right. And most of them aren't going to choose or seppuku. Or just unrest. You know, or just, yeah, or just a, a, a off eternal life and of not, of and not And that's not good enough. for other people either. Even if you don't give a shit about them personally, you're not going to be selling cars and right. stuff if you if and like, I'm not advocating welfare is what I'm saying because like that's that's well, the that pro- doesn't fix the problem. That's the either. problem. Yeah, exactly. That's the problem to me is that the two sides fail to address one part. Like the welfare yeah, state. I think if you're criticizing one, you, you're just touting the other. Right. Yeah. The, the other. welfare state says that everybody should get a little something regardless of what they do, even right. if they're total dirtbags or totally improductive people or criminal people or whatever. Right. Everybody gets a little something. And the other one says, no matter what, it's your fault. If you yeah, no matter yeah. what, it's your fault if you don't have a job. And, and completely ignoring market forces right. and the idea that, you know, like, for example, like, uh, one of these people was somewhere in California or something. So I'm thinking to myself, okay, all these jobs in California here with the movie out industry. Out California way. Out California <laughs> way with the mus- uh, in music and movie industry and stuff. Right. Imagine if those people had been based 100 years ago. It didn't start in California, but it started in Nashville. Right. Like if that became the head of that thing. Right. Very different people would be in charge of who gets hired and fired. And so very different types of people would be hired and fired. Is this about the Jews? No. <laughs> <laughs> it would probably still be them. They'd still be bankrolling. Got Mel Gibson on the line. Right, yeah, exactly. Talk about how no, but I'm Jews saying like, you know, <laughs> I'm saying like if, if like country western was the pr- yeah, no, predominant saying, thing yeah. now, you'd have very different – like the westerns would still be being made. There wouldn't be no right. like – Beach California movies, you know, from the '60s or something like that, and there just be whole different right. types of things make getting made. And basically, that's just one example. Same thing with well, like, you could use any industry as that right. example. If a different kind of car had become a different city, even if the same if Ford or if they started using some other sorts of energy instead of oil, then like that, right? You know, yeah, they would control right. who's so being hired like, for there what. There are things that influence who can get a good job beyond that person's skill. Right. You could be the best coal miner in the universe, and we've all gone Especially off Especially now the when they fix that Roomba and it actually works. Right, exactly. Then no, and then no one's going to get a job because once they teach you how to flip well, burgers. Well, that's part of the way it's of, going. And that's what I'm saying. Of, uh, like, suck up hair. Right. Like that's, they're making all these automated things now. Like I went to a McDonald's you recently. Learn how to and repair robots. Exactly. That's what you got to do yeah. now. That's the as future. As soon as the kids. company comes out, yeah. Making, how and, how repairing fix, making and repairing robots is the robots. only use you will have. Right. <laughs> but I mean, yeah, exactly. Like the the. The machine for drinks now has a conveyor belt yeah. in McDonald's. They don't even 
You just the put, person doesn't even fill the, your no, drinks. Holds the cups and everything. They just put yeah. it, and the only way they can mess it up is if they put it in the wrong order. And like somehow the wrong, they still mess somehow it they up. Still yeah. Do it, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, like, I could see the point that yes, there are people who just aren't very good at their jobs right. throughout the world. But at the right. same time, like we were saying, if like if you don't give them something to do, <laughs> yeah. there will be consequences to that. Like, right. and if you make your whole industry of your country in another country, and then you reimport it back, yeah. or you automate all of it, you know, there just won't be any. Right. Anything good and, for well, a lot of people? It's funny because it's not really related, but it's sort of related. Because people always bitch about like um, low wage jobs. They, like, oh, the people are worth more than that. And uh, Peter Schiff had a a video that he did a mini rant where he's like, "Look, it doesn't matter. It's not about the people. The job isn't worth that much. Right? Yeah, he's like, yeah, you could yeah. have I, Albert Einstein flipping hamburgers, and the burgers aren't going to be any better. Right? And exactly. It's not going to make you any more money. It's, so it has yeah. nothing to do with them thinking that that person isn't worth fifteen dollars an hour. It's it's the like, I can sell this burger for X right. amount. So, so the like, amount of I can play burgers, a person is yeah, the job isn't is X. worth that much. It's not that yeah. the people aren't. I can only sell burger for X, so I got to sell. I got to pay these people minus X. You right. know, X minus Y. In yeah. order to whatever the disparity in profit margin that I need right. to make it a viable business, right? But yeah, so I mean, but the problem is, yeah, like the the one the thought of the guys like that are saying like if you're if you're good at your job, you never be out of job, and it's all on the people for not having yeah. a job. And if you're gonna have one messed up mindset, that's the one to have because at least if you're just delusionally self confident, that you're gonna have something that tends things tend to work out for you a lot better than if you're delusionally like somber. That things are never going to work out. Well, it works out for you, trying. yeah. But I'm or, saying, like, right. as a policy, oh, it's setting, not going to fix it. It's not going to fix the pol. It's not going to fix the because the any country. individual person who's absolutely like this, whatever it is, is going to happen in my life and dedicates all their energy towards it. It's usually going to happen. Yeah, yeah. Or certainly, the it gives themselves right. The best but like chance. saying, not everybody but has those level other skills people, or that right. motor, that kind of like energy focus. You right. know, and yeah, it's better to have those things. But it's also like it would be better if I had a. A level of athletic prowess that got me well, in NFL, just, but just, I don't. Well, you there's know? also just math involved too. Like, regardless of that person who says that, that if you want it bad enough, you're, or if you will get enough, there, you get the job. You say, you okay, there, there are a finite number of jobs in this country That's, right now. That was going to be my next so point. So, like, there's more than that. People, even, it really doesn't matter even how if awesome those. Extra you've got a lot are. of people that adhere to that whole sale, like, and live out their life just perfecting their craft in this right. thing. If there's a hundred thousand jobs, so many the top hundred thousand people are going to have those jobs. Only, yeah, and there may be uh, there may be two hundred thousand that can work as well as that top one hundred thousand. But right. there's only a need for one hundred thousand. Right. So even if they're as good, they're not just going to like hire them. Right. Yeah. Exactly. For no reason. And like we're saying, a lot of those jobs being better at isn't necessarily going to get the person more money. Right. You could be the best burger flipper in the world, and you're still not worth more. That's than the classic artist problem. Like right. you have these yeah. people who are great artists, but right. have no business acumen or like connections or something, and so this guy who's a crummier filmmaker right. you know well, makes tons saying, of like, money or something like that even if they're better like if you're you could be the best driver in the world but you're not worth any more to the taxi company than the guy who's just a competent driver yes because they don't make extra well. money based but on I'm saying, you doing even, it better even in an example like let's say filmmaking artist thing where it can be your skill can like, make a monster difference a better product, but you are right. di- definitely making a better product by doing it still a better, doesn't work or like you know always. some sort of craftsman like I am making a much better desk with right. my carpentry skills but you just don't have a good way of selling them. Right. You live in Podunk, Pennsylvania, and you just sell to the you know you're an Amish hands craftsman. Right. And you just sell out of one store at the border of your Amish country. Right. You're never going to move as many as right. rooms to go. You know. Well, personally, I think I'm more beautiful than the plus size model that's going to be in Sports Illustrated. Ah, nice but, segue. I yeah, see what exactly. You did there. But I'm not, But I don't get a. Uh... I don't get you don't get that job. level of money. Yeah. Right. <laughs> they don't give you the fine clothes and right. the fancy paychecks. Exactly. I'll wear a sarong around my mm-hmm. dimpled thighs for right, yeah. <laughs> half that money. Right. What they need so now, they I'll, be the, I'll be the first <laughs> transgendered hairy model. For... Transgendered. <laughs> Just by saying, uh, yes, I, I come No, you wouldn't way. be. There was that one that was like had a beard. And was dressed up like a woman, and they oh were like God, parading around. Happened. Like, oh yeah, oh sure. You didn't do you in think Sports it's... Illustrated? No, not in okay. Sports Illustrated. This was some fashion one, but still, yeah. That's the difference. Is for the most part, Sports Illustrated had been more um, oriented towards men, whereas traditional fashion modeling is is oriented towards women and gay men. So that's right, why yeah. you see the, the different types. <laughs> right, of yeah. The more, uh... yeah. So, plus size model. Well, that's uh, what's funny. Is it's so skewed that it doesn't mean anything anyway. 
There's right, no well, like, we were saying, like, you know, one woman. of them was just an exceptionally like, tall woman or something like well, that. The, well, I was, there was an article someone posted about the woman that's making the headlines about going to be in the swimsuit issue. And they were like, oh, it's the first plus size model that's going to be in Sports Illustrated. And technically, it's not, I guess, because this other woman was technically plus size, but she was like six foot two, so she wasn't overweight. She was just really freaking tall. Right. But I mean, I guess that would qualify as plus size if you have a real right. definition, but I mean, it's just whatever right. anyone wants. Anything to above average would well, traditionally, I think people normally size, say like above a size eight, but that was my point is that there is no like measurement for what constitutes any given size for for women's sizing it can be whatever they want right and they've changed oh, and a plus eight is not something that occur- a size eight is not something that occurs in nature you know what i mean that's a definition we made ourselves to say here's dress size right and it's not you know? based on like a standard deviation like right any yeah. one above like it's one, not statistically one and a half it's not based on statistical distribution mean, right yeah, is yeah. plus size it's just based on their sizing which right now at least for the average people that's probably below average mm-hmm. yeah yeah but they can oh, do what well. they want. I'll try. Right, I'll sell my own ca- uh, calendar with my body on it. We can exactly. do a, a fireman calendar. Coming up from English and English, right? We'll do we'll, a Kickstarter. We'll vol- volunteer fireman we'll for do a, a day. Kickstarter instead of the uh, Sports Illustrated. We can have. Hey, so send us in uh, your emails of what uh, <laughs> sexy scenes you want to see. Right, like yeah. washing the dog or. <laughs> right. Or the dog washing us. The dog washing us. <laughs> yeah. Like I'm in the tub. And right. Yeah. <laughs> Mongo's sitting there. Right. Yeah. <laughs> It's like they, this oh, is like they say, man, that, uh, dog, or man bites dog isn't. No, it's dog bites man isn't news. Man bites, bites dog, dog is news, news, right? Yeah. So man. Well, that made me think. Have you seen man. on the internet one of those memes <laughs> going around that people keep doing their own version of, where they go back and recreate their baby pictures? Yeah, that was like mildly chuckly the first couple times. Now I'm yeah. like, we get it. It's weird when adults do things that infants are doing, but it's well, not it's funny weird when anymore. adults are mostly disrobed doing right, things that but infants are doing. Like it's every. It's they're all the what, same. It's like okay, it's well, it's also they don't select them very well right. like they do all their pictures from the childhood not the ones that are inherently funny themselves and then more and funny then, because right. they just pick a random picture as a kid like oh I'm wearing it bathtub, as an adult or I'm, I'm wearing goofy looking clothes because it was 25 years ago and now that looks funny for yeah. an adult to stand over the lollipop or whatever and, there can uh, definitely be some funny ones and there have been but it's you know right. like most things on the internet it's saturation before it uh, yeah. it dies yeah, yeah it was just way too much of the same thing to where it was, it was a Mildly funny the first couple times, and only because right. there were already funny pictures anyway. Right, it was yeah. just a normal picture, like one with cares? a kid making a funny face, like you know, wide eyed, oh, right. you know, after my, then, a, then adults, adults doing would it, never do. like, yeah, you know, like playing with some stupid toy or something, right. or getting something stuck on their head. Speaking or of speaking of stupid toys, this reminded me of some stupid thing from our childhood. They're like funny how memory works like this. But I was. Out and this about. Is a fake story, isn't it? You've been talking to Brian Williams. No. <laughs> <laughs> I this remember as true. a child staring down the barrel of an RPG. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. I remember the one time I became He Man, <laughs> yeah, the most we powerful man in the universe. And, uh, staring, we were playing with our He Man figures, all of a sudden we had to dodge RPGs. <laughs> right. Sniper yeah, fire. Exactly. <laughs> remember well, like it was yesterday? Inspired by the heroics of G.I. Joe, I dodged and, and definitely. <laughs> and Brian Williams. I dodged definitely. Who I knew would be about in the future. So, what's the actual story? Actual story. I was. Remember, like. Those dinosaur toys that were like cheap and like one color and the hollow yeah, plastic. Yeah, like just, you had you could see the seam from the mold on them. And right. Stuff. Yeah. Well, some of them were even like hollow. Like oh, the I belly know what you're talking about. Yeah, they're like hard like, plastic. I saw some kid. I was out like at the grocery store, and there's some parent loading yeah. up their kids in the car, and the kids playing with dinosaur like toys. Orange stegosaurus with right. And out. these ones are much more intricate dinosaur toys, modern toys. You know, like, yeah. like solid rubber plastic painted. These right. were single color, like the, the stegosaurus is red. Like the T Rex uh, is When you do a cheap like three D printing thing, right? Like yeah, level. it looks like pre three D printing. Right. Printing like in a, and I remember we had one of those, and just I don't know why, but I really remember that. One time we were playing with them at the beach, and, oh, and because they're so hollow, it floated and out I was to like sea. Beside myself, and we took like yeah, we took like you know an hour wandering up and down the beach. We found it. No, I thought we no, lost Mom it forever. Found one that I had, like some other oh. kid was like playing with it. I did not and, like, remember it that. Washed up because it was like that orange stegosaurus. Right, that's the thing. It was like, was like one like, color no. stegosaurus, and you were like <laughs> my stegosaurus. Unless she like was just produced another one. Right, that's what I'm saying. I guarantee she just like she probably punched a kid and took one. You know. I swear it was, it was like, like it another was 50 cent thing. That was another one that um, our cousin Christian used to have. There was that one figure that had the chest that opened. And yeah. he had this quote unquote magic trick where he would like put the figures in there into the chest and make them disappear. Oh, yeah. And it like blew my mind. I'm like, dude, he's totally just all he was doing was, was like palming it. it. Yeah, yeah, it was like, like, like a five years old magic like, trick. And I was like, it was, what the shit? It was what just, it was real blaster from like He Man or whatever. whatever no, it was from it was from the um, no, Lone was, Star or whatever that had like the. It was a cowboy dude. Or Brave, Star. Brave Star. Brave Star. That's it what it was. the same company that made right. He Man. Like so they had very similar thing. figures. But he had something like a. One of the characters had like a. No, I think that one was from He Man. Where yeah, like because he had like 
guns on every joint and they would all flip out and his chest would open up and it was a gun yeah, or something. Yeah, okay, yeah. Right, his chest would flip open and it was a gun so there wasn't even so was really a, a compartment in there. It was a tiny little compartment that was just big enough for that like fake gun. Thumb. Well, it was just that fake gun. It was gun. big enough for like your thumb where this fake gun would and pop so out. And so you would just start to put it in he there. You would start to put like a G.I. Joe in there like you're like, it would never fit in there. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> never. Right, and then just it would bo- just disappear. You know, baloney cousin Chris Jr. Right. Like, whatever. And we were probably like, Six, yeah, I said, say, but yeah, so like I said, all and clearly all he was doing was palming it. it. Yeah, and we were just like, like the whoa, ever. what? <laughs> Blowing my mind. Yeah. So that's uh, some people don't seem to have evolved past that. Right? <laughs> past that stage, right? What did he do just with watch it? Watch any D- David Blaine special. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh, off the ground. oh snap! <laughs> yeah. Oh crap, man! His feet are like an inch off the ground. <laughs> he got my card. He w- he started doing all like endurance feats, which are actually pretty yeah. crazy. If you watch yeah. the uh, the TED talk on him, where he held his breath, like explaining how he held his breath like seventeen minutes or something. Jeez, how did he? Incredible. How did he do that? I never saw. Well, that I one. mean, it was he literally did it. It was one of those oxygen assisted ones where you breathe pure oxygen for a for long time. time. Gotcha. But because uh, the record without doing that is like five nine minutes, minutes or, or nine something, minutes, six, yeah. seven or nine minutes or something. I don't like think that. anyone's ever cracked ten. On a system, on the, just know. without the, the average person can do like, but it was one something like two. seventeen minutes or something crazy. Jeez. Let's speak of like wild. other random like science stuff like that. There was apparently somebody came up with these crystals now, and they're trying to yeah, develop they them. They, yeah, that the, they bind oxygen molecules, and then they have some method which did not describe in the article because I'm assuming that's their patented thing. Right. They said they can't reveal that, but they have some way to through some maybe like an electrical current or some heating thing. Release it. will it. suck oxygen in during under certain conditions and. Release oxygen out of the It's almost others. like a reverse desiccant or something. Right, but, yeah. yeah, but for for oxygen, you just not water. Mouth a, cr- a bunch of crystals. Well, I mean, they were thinking, you know, instead of an oxygen tank that has pressurized oxygen, yeah. that can only hold so much before. Right. Because, it's almost like a neat. Because otherwise, you have to compress stuff. it down to liquid oxygen, which takes so much energy. Yeah, right. you know, to compress oxygen down to liquid right. form. Or then you can have like a dangerous. blood basically in there that you can put into your right. body. Right, or just a little pouch, well, like you know, a small container that, there, that you think can weigh one pound instead of this. 10 pound canister that you right, well, I was think I, the one I read they had and I think they may have already done this to some extent but there was like something like that that they that was already yeah, rich with oxygen and they inject, injected well, they injected the person and it like puts a lot directly more into the blood into the bloodstream and then the, yeah. instead of the blood vessels going to so the just lungs like you can take hold, the, that's how you hold your breath is that the oxygen's already in your blood and you're using that for a few minutes whatever if yeah. your blood has this stuff in it that has like 20 times the oxygen Right. Then you can last twenty times as long. Right, that would so you feel can swim. So weird, right, though. just being able to swim around for like you thirty start minutes. Panicking because you're not getting a breath. Well, I don't maybe. think you would because you wouldn't have that. The panic comes from that feeling of needing to breathe. Well, that too, but I mean, you also have that auto, like, you, auto, you have that autonomic thing in your body that makes you breathe every few but seconds. But I mean, like when you go underwater and you're swimming around, like when well, we used to do true. laps, you, you don't know, feel the panic until you start. You start like, oh shit! I need a yeah, breath. When your brain knows it's running out of oxygen, so you've got blood full of crystals. Yeah, then maybe yeah. you wouldn't need to. All right. So, yeah, you mentioned earlier movie trailers. Yeah. I haven't... I mean, I've seen the trailer at some point, but the Jupiter Rising or Jupiter Ascending or whatever... Oh, yeah, but that looks, came out looks, now, right? right? I think it's, it's out. So I've read but a few reviews that were... The only thing I didn't I read, read reviews, just saw like the headlines. Something Tony had read, I think it was on Film Drunk or something, where they're talking about the premise of Channing Tatum's character is he's a bounty hunter who is created... By being mixed with wolf DNA. Okay, so, so he has uh, like sci-fi werewolf. <laughs> yeah, and he has powers to like sniff objects and tell what happened based with his wolf powers. Which tell what happened. Once... So that's like that's how scent works. Like, you well, did... I mean, it's supposed to be like super tracking. I guess like. Well, I can understand that. Like... In all directions, like in Well, I can understand that, kind of but not like. Does he well, see, I don't know like... to what extent. Yeah, okay. Yeah. And then apparently he also had wings that were like cut off as a punishment or something. This movie sounds ridiculous. <laughs> it's pro- it sounds well, I mean, it's bad. the Wachowski brothers. It's their weird sexual f- fan fiction, like, merged into a... Yeah. But the, so then again, terrible. the one thing I will say... Yeah, it does kind they of terrible. They've made one good movie in my mind. Yeah. You I, know, I, I know, I recently rewatched the, uh... The... Second... The second one wasn't bad. second one wasn't I bad. I don't the like what Matrix. they did with the story still. Like, right. But as a movie, it wasn't bad. Right. It's, it, it was the entertaining. The problem with it was... was that it was a matrix movie basically right the pro- <laughs> well the problem with it was is that it f- messed up it undid the successes of, of the what, first right. one right it was like starting over almost like right. it didn't matter well cuz like yeah like they made it it went from a thing in which the coolest thing about the first one is not just the action and the setting even though those were great 
But the problem is, is they took the idea that the action and the setting is what was cool and then just ran with that. Now, right. in the second one, they have some really great action scenes. Like the whole yeah, freeway cool. chase, like when they go to the Merovingian's castle and all the way to the end of the freeway chase, that is one long, pretty badass sequence. Yeah, like, it's cool. Like every single fight in there like, everything just is in pretty terms cool. Of the story, they kind but of yeah, them. like You're the, right. in terms of the story, like so I watched it again and I liked it a lot better than my initial reactions. That's of, how I was too. Like when we went back and watched it, I thought yeah. it was a lot more like that was a, but it was I still a fun, see, entertaining movie, right. but it, I don't like where they were going. And obviously the third one just went off a cliff then. Right, yeah, because like the the third one just brought to fruition the problems that were introduced in the second one. Right. Where they're um in the first one the idea was it was representing the idea of breaking a mental paradigm, right. which is something that exists in real life, you know, and it's meta, you know, brought about as metaphor with this idea of like, you know, seeing the truth that they don't want you to see. Right. It's like the, uh, the paradigm that it was uh, working out. And so like a lot of great stories throughout history, they become great, not simply because that story is particularly so great, but because they're illustrating something that speaks to people. Right. The second one is not, and third one, we're not really illustrating that same kind of thing. And yeah, therefore, exactly. it lost that magic because it went from being about like fighting the power and um, breaking the, the mental prison to compromising with the power and finding some sort of right. peace. You know, like you're like what? You know, like come on! It was the whole like initial one was about you know him getting out of the mental paradigm that limited him. And therefore, now unlimited, he can finally fight back, you know, against yeah. this oppressing power. And um, and then in the next one, it was like, yes, you have. But guess what? It was part of our plan all along, which yeah. is kind of a cool twist. But it's a twist that ruins what made the first movie magical. Right, exactly. It's like a cool twist from a plot point perspective. But from a thematic perspective, you have undone what was successful about your first one. What made it culturally relevant. Right. Yeah, exactly. But then, what else have they done? They did um, the uh, Cloud Atlas, which was just too weird. I never saw too, it. Not, yeah. Nothing really. They did um, the... Uh, what's the one with the, the anonymous mask that the guys always use? The guy from Oh, Vendetta. Vendetta. Did they actually yeah. direct that, though? I think so. Well, I mean, did they, they actually write it? No, I mean. that was based off a comic book. Right. So that like, was why probably... Like, all, any of stuff they've written was... But even that guy's like, comics are a little bit tedious to me, because they're always... Um, like, the movie was cool in the, like, fight the power kind of sense, you know, and he was not a bad character, but it's always like... Fight the power, because the power's fighting all the gays. Right. Well, you, know, you have to see this real quick before we like, continue. What? Someone made a tea kettle that looks like it's like Hitler saluting for some reason. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. For whatever uh, reason, I wish we could show this. Of, we Maybe we can link website. it on the website. Yeah, yeah. save that image. Yeah, it's it like just, a, it's a, it's a tea a, kettle from the just side. Just for a quick description, it's a tea kettle from the side. Because it's got a little white, uh, it's got a black top uh, on the lid. And right. above the lid is the handle in this curved shape that looks like a human head. So it looks like this black little button top is where a mustache would be right. if, you, if the, the negative space under the, the handle spout was looks a like a Hitler raising and the his arm. The spout looks like an arm going out to <laughs> <laughs> to a Nazi salute. Right. That's funny. Just because of the angle they happened to photograph right. this, this thing in. But it's on like a billboard. And it was on a billboard right somewhere. That's pretty funny. I mean, you probably wouldn't see. You probably wouldn't make I that comparison that. driving in down the case road. Someone just had, because somebody, somebody did, did a comparison and photo. put them side by side. Then right, it's yeah. funny. Obviously, that's not what yeah. they were going for. <laughs> I was speaking. Of that made me think. The Cum Fuhrer. Like, when yeah, is that I'm, movie supposed to go out? It's supposed to. Oh, ship real quick, out the description soon. for our list. Oh yeah, there was a Kickstarter that someone had done last year or about it's eighteen months yeah, ago. It's I been guess, over a year. Where they made a trailer for it, where it was all shot in green screen, but it was a uh, like a. 80s kind of noir type or throwback I guess not noir but like right, a throwback yeah. to like 80s cop movies and uh cop kung fu extravagant right, he's mixed. a kung fu renegade cop was literally like the first so he has to go back he tries to go back in time to kill Hitler who's like the best kung fu master of all time or something yeah he's the kung fuhrer and he's the right. best kung fu cop so he's gonna stop the worst <laughs> criminal in history the right kung, you know Adolf Hitler so yeah so I contributed to the kickstarter so I'm supposed to get the movie Sometime right. in the next couple months, right? Whenever they start shipping it out, but it was just one of those things like you completely forget about it because it's been like a year. But that's how long it takes to make a movie, right? You know, especially when they had all that digital effects, right? It was especially all when green screen. It was made by some digital effects artist and in his like friends, Sweden. yeah. And so he realized that if he just got some money, he could hire his friends, like pay them to sit down and work just on his movie to finish it, right? Up. So they they made a cool 
trailer for it, showing showcasing what they could do with the technology. Right. They had the story and using their and method, a very so. similar method to things like Tron and everything. Else I think now, it's only going to be a smaller team. I think it's only going to be like half an hour, or an hour, but yeah. But, but still. they because they wanted to try to get a million. Well, it was like it. twenty, but I think I'm going to get like a DVD and a Blu-ray or something, right. and a poster or some shit like that. So. Totally worth it for yeah. humorous, uh, you right. know, have, yeah, yeah, absolutely, like that. you know, ridiculous. Premise. That's know. one of those things that if they only make a limited run, it could be worth like a hundred bucks in a couple right, of years. Yeah. You know what I mean? Even if not, it, it right, looks. Yeah, I didn't, that's not why I got it. I was right, wanting to see. Very it. Yeah, <laughs> I'm not against paying for stuff that I think will be cool, mm-hmm. especially when it's made like that. You know, like grassroots type yeah, independent. And I know yeah, the exactly. money's going to this dude who's just making it. Right. It's not, what we it's do. not lining <laughs> Pepsi's coffers for right. the advertise or something. Yeah. Which doesn't bother me, but it right, makes yeah. me less like I don't have a feel like any actual desire to to pay beyond just getting the product. Right, so exactly. if I get the product for free somewhere else, then that's what I do. Right, yeah, exactly. Like, Whereas with these you guys... You pay a little extra to help somebody right. that is doing something very specifically that you'd like, you know, right. versus I'll pay normal price to somebody who's just doing... Or try to find ways to wait and watch it later on Netflix. Right, or yeah, exactly. So. Interesting economy there. Yep. yep. Oh, but there was one last news story. Oh, right. The uh, absurdity. I think you had pointed this out to me, but the... The keychains? Live animal yeah, keychains Yeah, we found an China. article that says... Where is it? Let me look it up. Apparently, it's a quick it synopsis here. It's well, like two finds, years old. Well, it says, finding... live animals for sale as keychains. And it shows a picture of like this little baggie with a turtle in it. This is fucked up. Yeah. It says, a new fashion jewelry in China, live animals in a sealed plastic bag containing a liquid of nutrients and oxygen allows them to live for up to two months. So I'm thinking that this may be bullshit, because I don't know if they have that. Something that could give them oxygen for two months. Yeah. But, I mean, or maybe oxygen just gets in and there's nutrients in the, right. the thing, but still. Because this one just shows a bat, turtle. The thing bag. can't turn around. Right, and it's going to shit in there and yeah, stuff. Yeah, it's going like, to be living in its own poop. Yeah. And furthermore, so that's maybe, it's not free. This may just be someone thinking that's what this is. I mean, it, it, we could be getting had. This could be right. fake. Right. But if it's not, that's stupid. Like, what? who would want to do that to an animal? Like, they even... Weird like, I am that. totally not one of those people that's, like, crusading against animal cruelty. Like, never eat an animal. And I don't care that much about the plight of, like, dogs that haven't been adopted. But if I see an animal being constrained like this, I would be appalled. Like, I wouldn't want yeah. anything done in my presence like that. Like, I don't... I'm not, like, a crusader for animals' rights, but just having a general sense of decency. You don't want to see yeah, some creature... Up. Being condemned to two months of living in its own poop inside a small container, so they that you would, have a need. I can't imagine that they would last like live anyway, just being like jostled around. And yeah. Is, yeah, it can last two months. I guarantee you, maybe... it's like those goldfish you get at the fair. It right. goes belly up before you get. Well, home. That's what I'm thinking. Maybe this is they're not really uh, alive. You know, maybe this is just wouldn't a picture of them funny? like in resin or something. Yeah, wouldn't that be funny if they tell them they're alive, but really they tell them a story about like, oh, the nutrient fluid slows right. them they're, down. They're already dead. Yeah. And it's just formaldehyde. Right. You know, like. In that case, then I would applaud that they're getting one up on these right. stupid people who would be willing to take a I live can't animal. If there's anything that would have two months worth of oxygen in that size bag or food, like how could you have? What's well, this nutrients? But yeah, so a, what? Is that like, a real? Have they even invented that? An IV of two months for a person, right? Yeah, like a person is a much larger animal than this tiny little two inch. You know, well, and they would still be passing waste. But the this amount that bag. it would take, yeah, you'd be maybe because it's all liquid, you only pee. We'll it have out, to research still, this later and see if it's total bullshit. Still, even if they can do it, the fact that somebody would do it is, is weird. Up, yeah. yeah, and like, who would want that? The fact that somebody would do it, thinking they can make a buck, is not a surprise to me. Is the fact that somebody would buy it, thinking it's cool to have a right. imprisoned animal in their thing that they know is going to die. And they're like, what are you going to do at the end? And free it? Right. You know, like... Well, you just throw it away, just, I guess. Right, well, right. that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Like, after two months, there's a little light come on saying, you know, like a little, like, thing changes color from, like, green to yellow to red yeah, over the like month. it's running low. It's running low. It's like, you better flush it now. And, like, maybe it'll live in the sewers. Yeah, I don't like, know. No, I guarantee you would just I'm guessing there's, like, a 50% day. chance that it's One bogus. day you notice its lower jaw is floating separate <laughs> yeah. from the rest of it. You'd... And then you snack everything. on it. Yeah, yeah, and then you... Yeah, maybe that... You peel... It's got a zip right, top. Yeah. You peel the top and... Oh! That's probably what it is. And they're like, it's disgusting. People think that these live animals are keychains. I'm like, it's China. They're probably eating the Right, yeah. It's, it's, <laughs> it's probably in some sort of, like, fat. Like broth. Yeah, you know, like you a broth. Know. Like, ooh, it's so... It's, right. it's been stewing it's like for months. It's snack. You're supposed to eat it within, like, a week or something. Brined and turtle. Right, yeah, <laughs> exactly. And people are like, these, they just carry these around as keychains? It's like, no, they're probably eating them. <laughs> right, yeah. It's a uh, it's a method of brining that uh, right. raw brining is uh, live brining. <laughs> right, it's all the rage in China. A lot of weird stuff. Cool. I oh, think well. it's good. I think well, on that on that uh, bizarre note, yeah, that should be the end.
believe on the weird stuff that Chinese people do. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be interesting one day to hear like a translated version of them reading American news and being like, "What?" Yeah, you know about, about some, weird find stuff. out what makes them go. Bah? Yeah, like huh? Jay, well, they seem to be unusually enraged by jaywalking. Like, really, like, jaywalkers? Right. Like, I've seen like not necessarily Chinese, but multiple Asian countries where they're like, yeah. And even, I can understand. I you saw some for that. The North, the North Koreans were like writing about like the decadence of the U.S. Society, right, yeah. and they mentioned like jaywalking as a big thing. Yeah, it's yeah. like a big like just walking across walking the street, in non designated areas, yeah, exactly. as if there's you're free to roam wherever you want. Right. Like, yeah, oh yeah, my like, like, god! Yeah. Can you believe this? Right. These horrible animals. I mean, I hate jaywalking to the extent that I hate people who. The problem is, is the jaywalkers tend to be the people who pick poor timing to cross the street. Right, but it's, that's annoying. But I don't do care that they're crossing crosswalk. a street. Right. Yeah, same thing. It's it's bad when you just cross the street at the wrong time, crosswalk, or just go. slowly don't give a or shit about anything. Meandering, else. like, yeah. you know, you see a guy, you know, 200 feet down the road, and they're just like, I'm a pedestrian, they'll stop, and right. they lurch or they forward, stop and start talking shumbling, to yeah. Now. Or they, they get out into your lane, then stop and look at the next lane. It's like, right. you should have checked both lanes, man, and then cross. Right. But, I mean, yeah, that's a problem regardless of the designated area <laughs> yeah, or not. Yeah, no matter you know. where you're doing It's just that. this guy's poor choice making, not, right. not the fact that the government needs to do something about this and have designated crosswalk <laughs> areas. Because we can't have people crossing the street yeah, everywhere like yeah, animals. Yeah, just like, like, just like Just like birds or squirrels. <laughs> they cross the street wherever they want. <laughs> Ridiculous. We need to funnel them like cattle, which is a more noble beast. <laughs> All right. Well, that's it. it. That's it for this week. Everyone who's listened, the three people that are listening, well, hey, we got like three views or something. And we haven't even announced I think only one yet. of those was mine. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we'll, have a, we'll have a few more views when we actually put up the announcement on our channels and such. And true, the, true, yeah. Yeah. And on, or hopefully get on iTunes soon. I can figure out the RSS feed. Yep. Yep. All right. Well, we'll have that up and, uh, Feel free to email us at English and English vids at gmail.com Tell with any questions awesome or, or, or things you'd like us to cover. Goods. Yeah. But you better be worth that. No and plus size models. Right. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Unless you're the 6'2 one, that's fine. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, exactly. Well, I guess depending on your definition of plus size. Right, as exactly. our whole point was initially. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. We'll be back hopefully next week. Peace. <laughs>